Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs, tend my sheep, feed my sheep. In the time of Jesus, the shepherd sacrificed and endured great hardship to pastor and protect the flock of his master. In John's Gospel, we hear Jesus asking Simon Peter to take on an essential role in his kingdom, the role of shepherd. He walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him, because they recognize his voice. I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. John chapter 10, verses 4 and 11. In his apostolic exhortation, Evangelii Gaudium, the joy of the gospel, Pope Francis explains that the people of a diocese, the flock who worship and live under the pastoral care of a bishop, must work in unity to undertake their missionary role, just as the first Christian communities were of one heart and one soul in proclaiming the gospel. We walk with the shepherd we respond to his voice. Here's brothers and sisters in Christ. The image of Jesus as the Good Shepherd is one that inspires me daily as I serve as your shepherd in the Diocese of Laredo. The image of the shepherd has great meaning for those called to a religious vocation. However, I believe when Jesus told Simon Peter in the Gospel of John, Feed my sheep, he was also speaking to all of us. In living our vocation, we are called to be shepherds and stewards of Christ's message of compassion, service, and sacrifice. Through our gifts to the Catholic Sharing Appeal, we participate as stewards of the shepherd's mission on earth. We are the caretakers of his lambs. The poor and the hungry who come to our doorstep at Catholic Social Services seeking temporary shelter and emergency assistance. The adults who hunger and thirst for a closer walk with Jesus through adult faith formation courses. The young couples preparing for marriage through our family life ministry. The youth who face great temptations and social pressures in their most vulnerable years. The future priests who are discerning their vocation or on the journey of formation. The many children in kinder through 12th grade who attend our Catholic schools. The incarcerated our brothers and sisters separated and isolated from family and faith. The boys and girls who attend our CCD classes, preparing their little souls to receive Jesus in the sacraments. Some of the experience that I have been teaching catechism is that the kids love to be taught about God. I know the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. I have been able to almost finish my studies, so just recently been ordained a deacon, uh, and it, it was possible through the generosity of the people of the diocese who contribute to Catholic Share and Appeal. Those of us who feel a call to the, to the priesthood are able to make it. Please contribute. Um, this program has showed us to trust in God, to give our lives devoted to God. Um, Everyone has been so wonderful. It has taught us so many basic things of life and spiritually and, you know, to look forward to the future as we live our, our new chapters in life. Nosotros venemos aquí cada año. Si no tienen aseguranza, vayan porque ahí nos dan los lentes, los dientes, el doctor y medicinas también nos dan. My dearest brothers and sisters, I urge you to join me in the work of the Good Shepherd, through your generous support for the 2014 Catholic Sharing Appeal. 
May the peace and the love of Christ, the Good Shepherd, be with you always and help us to become stewards and shepherds to all our brothers and sisters. Todo con amor.